Bond duration is one of the most important concepts to learn in fixed income investing. It measures the sensitivity of a bond's price to changes in market interest rates. So if a bond's duration is equal to three, for every 1% increase in interest rates, the bond price will decrease approximately by 3%. It's an inverse relationship between interest rates and the price of the bond. There are two really important factors to keep in mind when we're discussing duration. The first is the time to maturity. So the longer the time to maturity, the higher the duration. Think about it like this. If a friend owed you $100 and he had to pay you back in five days, you wouldn't really care about what was happening with interest rates because you were going to get that money back immediately and then you can just lend it out to someone else. But if that friend owed you $100 and was going to pay you back in 20 years, you'd be very concerned what was happening with interest rates in the market because that's 20 years that you can't reinvest that money. Um, so it's very sensitive to the uh, time to maturity. The second factor is the coupon rate. So the larger the coupon rate, the lower the duration. Think about it like this. If the bond has a high coupon rate, that means every year you're getting a high amount of money paid to you on that bond. So you're getting your investment returned sooner if the, if the coupon rate is higher. And the sooner you get your money returned to you, um, the less concerned you are, the less sensitive your asset is to duration. Now think about a zero coupon bond. If you receive no coupons, all of the payment of that bond will happen at the very end at at maturity which means that the duration is equal to the time to maturity so the highest duration you can have is when all of the cash flows are at the end of the investment like a zero coupon bond now let's calculate the most commonly used measure of duration macaulay duration we're going to use an example where the bond has a coupon rate of 10 percent a yield to maturity of six percent so the market interest rate is six percent and a time to maturity of three years. So down in this table, you're gonna see that in each year, one, two, and three, we get a cash flow. The first year, we're just gonna get the notional amount of the bond, so $1,000 times the coupon rate, which is 10%, so $100. Same as in year two, we'll just receive $100 at the end of year two. At the end of year three, we're gonna get the full notional amount of the bond, which is $1,000 and a 10% interest added on. So we'll get $1,100. Now we'll calculate the present value of each of these uh, cash flows in each year. So for the first year, it's just 100 divided by 1 plus the interest rate, the market interest rate of 6%, which gives us 94.34. The, ca uh, the present value of the cash flow in year two is $100 divided by 1.06 to the power of two. So we're getting this two years out, so we have to discount it back to the present value. Um, by the compounding effects of the, to the power of two. So that gives us $89. And for the third cash flow, we're going to take the $1,100 and divide it by 1 1.06 to the power of three because we have to discount it back three years. So that gives us a cash flow of 92 or 923.58 for a sum total of 1,106.92. Now that we have our present values, we need to find the weights of each present value. So we have our total present value of 1,106.92. Now we'll just take each year's present value and divide it by the total to get the percentage weight of that year's value in the total present value. So for the first year, you can see the 94.34 divided by 1,106.92 is 8.5%. And we do the same thing for year two and year three. If we sum all of these weights up, we find the total to be 100%. Now, to calculate the Macaulay duration, we simply take the weighted average um, present value of each year and then add it together. So for year one, we'll take the, the number of years one multiplied by the weight of that year, so 8.5%, and then we'll add year two, so two multiplied by 8%, and then year three multiplied by 83.5% to get a total Macaulay duration of 2.75. What this means is that if interest rates in the market, let's say, fell by 1%, so they went to 5%, 
then our bond's price, the present value of our bond, would increase by approximately 2.75%.